Hey guys, so <laughs> let me give you a little background. So a couple days ago, my mom told me that she found a tripod in the garage that I could use for my videos and I was so excited and today I went out to the garage, got it. It was a little dusty, had spider webs on it, no spiders though, so I was chilling. I was just cleaning it. Then I was like trying to understand how it worked because it was a little older. And then as I'm like making the legs of the tripod longer, I just see a body form type thing leave the tripod onto my carpet and you can't see spiders on a carpet usually so i'm not touching the ground and i was like trying to try like different rooms to film in but now we're just filming on my bed and i'm trying to like not go in that area and we're just this is how the video is starting so Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about New Year's resolutions because if you know me, you know I love bettering myself as a person, if that's even how you say it. Like I just like always improving myself and trying to be the best version of myself so you know this year my New Year's resolutions I'm all in for. So I wrote down a list and I kind of made them all cute and I feel like these are pretty general things. Some of them are more specific but they might give you some ideas on what to focus on for the new year 2019 and kind of what goals you want to set for yourself. So let's just dive right in. So I kind of sectioned it off by different types of goals. So my first one is all about self-care, which is kind of like what I really want to focus on for 2019. So the first one I start off with is self-love because lately, I'm gonna be real with you guys, I've been a little hard on myself, haven't been the nicest, most kindest person to myself lately, just with like my body image and self-image. So this year, I really wanna focus on reinforcing, you know, positive things to myself, even on the days where, you know, I'm not feeling my most prime and i just want to reinforce positive things that i love about myself and i really want to keep journaling and writing things like this journal i got for christmas it's the self-renewal journal and like every day it looks like this like the daily um i guess journal you do and there's one part where you write six things that you love about yourself and then six things others love about me so it really makes you think because once you're writing it every day and you really have to come up with new things it's just really interesting to find like the small things that you like about yourself so i just really want to focus on that and i really want to try accepting compliments and not deflecting them or when i hear them think in my head oh they're wrong like they're wrong there's no nah, that's not a good part about me but like I shouldn't be doing that. The next part is gonna be skincare and beauty kind of stuff. So I really wanna get into skincare. I started using the Clinique Acne Solution line and it's been really doing me justice. Like it's been helping a lot. I haven't gotten any crazy breakouts, which is perfect for me because I have acne prone skin. And I just wanna try different like moisturizers and like, you know, those oils that are good for your skin. I don't know, I actually wanna get into like making my skin soft and healthy and just treating it well like you should. I also, in 2019, do not want to be wearing makeup as much. I'm wearing a little bit right now, but um, I don't know. I just kind of want to embrace my natural look, and I really started doing that like the end of 2018, and I really enjoyed it. I started to become, you know, enjoying my, how do I word it? Like, I just started liking how my natural look was looking rather than always having to be glammed up and being glammed up is fun don't get me wrong and I love dressing up and putting on makeup but I started to become like really used to like just how I looked with like no makeup or barely any makeup and I think that's healthy to like really truly like love yourself like how you are naturally with no makeup also I really want to get into flossing so I have too many cavities okay Oh my God, this is the goal of 2019. And I'm telling you guys, you have to make me stick to this. 2019 will be the year that I do not bite my nails. Like I have bit my nails. Ew, I don't even wanna, <sighs> I have bit my nails since I was like in second grade, maybe younger. And this is the year I'm going to stop. I remember I was close to stopping in like middle school and then I fell into the trap again. It's like a nervous tick I have. I do it and I'm not even realizing I'm doing it and it's gross because I bite around my cuticles. Like that's where it's not cute and it just looks kind of unprofessional to me. I know that sounds weird, but like when you get older and you're an adult, it's just kind of, I just don't, I need to stop biting my nails. It's not, 
it's just kind of childish I feel like it's like sucking your thumb but like I don't know I don't know no offense if you bite your nails but like it's not good <laughs> it's kind of gross if you think about it also this one hair it's fine so my next like category I guess you can say is going to be health and the first part I wanted to focus on was working out because this year I don't necessarily want to work out to look a certain way which is kind of what I would do in the past like I'd be like ooh, I want a six-pack and I want a big butt or I want you know strong arms as in like the way they look not how I feel and this year I'm really going to try to focus on working out because of the way it makes me feel like when I was going through a really anxious time in my life I would always you know I would have this routine where I'd work out and then meditate and it always made me feel good no matter what it was like a cardio session and then with like ending with like chill and like that always made me feel better so I know working out is more than just looking good it's making me feel good and I also want to focus on getting stronger for my own health like you know being able to do more push-ups or being able to do a pull-up so that's kind of like what I focused on and just really focus on getting stronger and making my body more healthy rather than just for the way it looks because if you do it that way it just that's when you fall off of it like you just work out really hard for you know a couple months or whatever and then you get the abs and then you stop and then it's just a cycle and it's really unhealthy and mean to your body to not accept it the way it is and I don't know okay next is food hey okay don't know what that was so this year I want to continue focusing because I feel like I do a pretty good job of this but I want to focus on even more is just really eating whole foods not because it's going to make me look a certain way but because it makes me feel good and I'm nourishing my body in the best way I can which is through whole and natural foods not through processed food but don't get me wrong I will still have my processed food and that comes with the next goal I want to have is I want to make sure that I'm still letting myself you know engulf and junk food i can't believe i just said engulf i meant indulge <laughs> what i don't i don't even i can't i i meant indulge so indulge in junk food not engulf because that makes no freaking sense annie okay so thank you <laughs> because if you don't and you make yourself not eat any junk food you're restricting yourself so much that when you do have the chance to eat you're going to literally binge the heck out of that food and that was kind of my issue is i was like not letting myself eat that bad food because i want to be so healthy and then when i did have the chance the girl ate a lot of food <laughs> yeah so i think that's all for health just overall i want health to be something like focusing on the way i feel rather than how i look because that's really what health is so now on to some random things. Why do I, hey, some random things, <laughs> okay. So this is just, I didn't know how to categorize this part of my goals, so it's kind of weird, but bear with me. So for life in general, I just really want to give 100% in school and this program that I'm, not program, I don't know, this thing that I'm a part of in school and I just really want to give 100% and not feel like you know I wasn't doing my best and whatever I turn in or whatever I'm doing with school or projects I want to make sure that it's my best and I'm proud of what I do like I don't know like I'm my parents are paying for college and it's a lot of money so I should be putting my full effort in so so how many times can I say so so yeah I'm also gonna make an effort to make more friends in college I tend to get nervous to ask you know people in classes that I become friends with to hang out outside of class just because I'm nervous I don't know rejection or just because it's awkward but I met some really nice people in my classes and I would love to hang out with them and become better friends with them so I really want to focus on like making sure when I go to class like I'm you know when I meet people I'm going to ask to hang out like oh do you want to go get boba do you want to go get food like whatever so I'm gonna make sure to do that and say yes to more things because Sometimes I say no a lot to like hanging out because I can kind of be a homebody, but sometimes I like to go out. It's weird. So next for my spirituality type of goals for 2019, I want to focus on journaling a lot and kind of journaling in a way where I want to manifest and really practice law of attraction, writing down things that I want out of 2019 and constantly doing so that it will eventually come into my life. and. I'm gonna try to do this in the morning. I just feel like in the morning, I'm just so much more, I don't know, it's just, I enjoy journaling in the morning and that's when I like to manifest certain things and 
you know, really take time out of my day to focus on it. Wow, I'm getting <laughs> getting spiritual in here. Whoa. I also want to try manifesting stuff kind of in a, how do I say this, meditation kind of way, but like with yoga or, you know, repeating mantras to myself throughout the day because, I don't know, I feel like especially through yoga, it's such a experience when you're really in it and yeah, I just want to practice that. And I also want to read more spirituality books because I found a really good book this year that I mentioned in my past video called Light is the New Black. So I really want to, I don't know, like read more books like that because I find it so interesting. Like this book talks about manifesting but in a more scientific way. And I never heard it that way before but it's so interesting how we're just made up of energy and whatever we put out comes back to us. It's literally scientifically proven. So it's in this book but you guys should get this book. It's on Amazon. Hello. Now my last category is YouTube for my goals of 2019 and this year I really want to focus on YouTube because it makes me so happy and being creative gets me excited. I want to upload at least once a week. This might be hard once school starts but I want to do it and maybe even more if I'm able to and I just want to make time to film and edit and really you know a lot of time for that throughout my school week and yeah. I also, I don't know if this is weird to say, but I want to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of 2019. That might be too big of a goal or maybe not enough. I don't know, but that's the goal. It's set in place. Hopefully it happens. And I just want to make sure that I create content that will help others. That's like one of the main reasons or yeah, one of the main reasons that I did YouTube was I wanted to help others and inspire people, but also make stuff that I'm proud of and happy and it makes me happy. I don't know. That's what I want to do. And I kind of wrote a little bit of other things underneath all my goals. Just some things that I want to remember for 2019. So I said, be a light for others and yourself. I said, I am in control of my thoughts and feelings. I want to stop being or trying to be interesting and be interested instead. And I want to be there for others and for myself. So those are just some things that I kept in mind so yeah I guess I just realized that like this year 2019 is going to be about bettering myself as a person and just kind of learning who I am that's just like how I am in my life right now when you're 19 and you're in college you're just kind of discovering who you are as a person so that's what this year is going to be all about and just falling in love with myself I sound like a self-love video it's going to be a hard road because it's not easy but we will try our best to do it and 2019 is going to be our year you and I it's gonna be the best year yet and I'm so excited to make more videos I said every video but it's true this is the year that I follow my heart and do what I've always wanted to do and that's create videos create content make YouTube videos so I hope you guys enjoy this video I hope you got inspired by certain goals that I made and you want to try implementing them into your resolutions but I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and you have a great 2019. I hope you're having a beautiful day and go treat it like it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.